It's like a board slide. to live here. This is super fun though. Where do you want this thing? Um, let's put it someplace. Where you have power? In the right here. Turn, turn this chair around. I'll put it on the chair and then you can okay, sure. you plug it in right there. Good idea. I got three of them today and that's it. Three TVs? Three ideas. Uh, that's it. <laughs> Good ones anyway. After that, I'm done. <sighs> the worst part is like, uh, I don't know, right? ideas are actually from their brain, you know? Yeah. But when you use spray paint, if you don't put a mask on, you're killing brain cells. And if you lose your brain cells, they're not like muscles. They don't repair or they can't be like... No, you're, that's it. you're just kind of fucked, right? Yeah, but maybe less brain cells make you think... <laughs> shittily. I don't know, maybe... the word shittily? It is now. This was a poor job. See the edges? Yeah. Put your hands in there and you hold on to it. Yeah. Do you do you ride it like this? Yeah. Do you like that? Yeah, it feels so I've seen good. I had recently and I was like, what the fuck? I really like it. It's, it feels so good. Do you know the skater Nikel? Have you heard of Nikel? Yeah, of course. He jumped on this and did a nollie flip, like seriously, like a yeah. foot and a half. Those guys are so good though. They, nowadays it's gone back to the to the point of where they could ride anything. Like you see people riding zingers and just fucking rip those things. Yeah, but those are fun. I know they're fun. I just I rode a lot of crap because Me too. we couldn't afford, you know, you know the score. That's the closest thing to being ready for production and you know, put graphics on it. Yeah. And so then this rad. is uh it's so wild. This one you're gonna love because I know you like colors a lot. Oh wow. See I did all the work on this myself. This one isn't the deluxe, this is yeah. the uh a different board. This is the the beamer concave. You said, you know, how can you ride with that thing? Yeah. This is the beamer uh, concave with the rocker. Yeah. That's how this one was made. So this is uh, this is made with the with the love for the uh, the beamer, but yeah. without the rocker. I don't like the rock. I mean, I like rock and roll, but I don't like the rocker on the board. You don't want to rock out? No. Hey, let me see that. I'm gonna tail tap out. Dude. What is, what what's the graphic gonna be? Which, I don't know. Which, I'm trying to figure. I wanted to make it a zip zinger graphic or some zip. Low this one type. looks cool. I just put polka dots to try to copy the the uh, wave tool surfboard or the McCoy. These are more like the ones. Oh, this one is. They look so rad, dude. And <laughs> amazing. They they silk screened and they like just threw the paint and then sil tried to silk screen the whole board so it has the silk. But then after I router it out, it's hard to figure out what they like what it is. Well, it's cool because it it looks and some of it looks so intentional, but it looks super rad. It's almost like a like a wall, you know, yeah. like it's been painted over so many times, like tagged and graffiti and then sanded. Yeah, I mean, I wanted I to do other artwork over it, like flames or like uh, polka dots, but I'm like, how the hell can I ruin that? It looks like a work of art. It looks like a car that has bondo and then sand yeah. and hit again. And I go, well, totally. shit, I gotta redo this again. <laughs> totally. <laughs> yeah, that one. The colors are amazing. This one I made to. Uh, well, uh, Cardiel, he goes, I asked him, what color should I do my board? Tell me what to do my board. I don't know what to do my board. He goes, do it brown with green trucks and black wheels. And then he said yellow wheels. 
But this one reminds me of like uh, Disneyland or something. See how the color looks like forced made old? Yeah. You, you know, because I used two to two different colors of browns and I missed a black. So it looks like uh, that ride, the Mr. Toad's Adventure or something, because the toad is green, you know? Is the it? whole ride at Disneyland is all like brown wood and like rocks and boulders. I love, I love this. The, um, the almost like pinstriping. But that's like, like your board a little like bit. my first board. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You could be the first guy to get a second uh, double or <laughs> two guest boards on Cricket. Dude, I've had two guest boards on Cricket. I'm super gassed. You like that one? Yeah, it's I've right. been I giving mean, away like full decks now, dude. <laughs> oh, man. No, no. But maybe I could borrow a board from you while yeah. I'm here. I don't have anything. What about that well, super big one? I hate, I hate one, traveling with too much shit. That's what I read. I, I, I tried like three three nights in a row consecutively trying to front side 180 flip that big board. I didn't make it. Oh, I man. wonder why, Mark. No, I mean, it's very depressing when you can't make your tricks. Oh, yeah. Well, that's for sure. I can't do it. The best thing is now I can't do any tricks, so I don't have to worry about that. Yeah. It, you know which trick you you used to pull off that amazed me? Your kickflip backside grabs, dude. Those were sick. That was a long time ago. Yeah, I mean, you could redo it. Once you oh. do it, you just do it again. Shoot. Yeah, I don't know about Do a that. backside, or uh, kickflip backside grab on that? That would be sick. Actually, just riding down the street and not falling off would be pretty sick <laughs> no you know yeah. what do you so what do you do when you know you come down to your studio what do you work on you just start well i can tell you like how my brain works like uh so i have an event coming in miami for the art basel yeah in miami and uh, i have to paint a car like an automobile so uh what you know i thought like, like you know maybe car, yeah right? yeah so i thought maybe contact like uh uh Somebody that does it, like Pete Finlan, or like, I think Monty Nolder paints cars too, you know? Uh -huh. Or contact one of them and say, hey, look, can you help me? But, you know, the, um, I guess I'm gonna have people that know people in the car world to help me, but. So I'm gonna do like a, a replica on this board of what I'm gonna do. So we could, do, we could just do that right now. I mean, cool. I'll just show you how I do it. Yeah, that'd be amazing. Do you know what that is? I, ju I made this for my son. It's some of those, uh, he got into those platypuses or those things they're like ducks on the water and they go under and they're like it almost looks like a a sea lion and a platypus but it's like hooked in rivers and streams rather than the ocean oh, it's in australia i think it's, it's like a platypus though it might be a platypus i don't know what it is it's really weird it i was strange when he told me he liked it but i tried to make him one out of the out of just the foam car a lot of the stuff i make is this other artwork i do i just Make stuff like out of foam core. <laughs> it looks pretty real. Yeah, what cat does? That's why I like don't stand next to the window with this thing. <laughs> yeah, man, guns freak me out. Even just the social facsimiles of them. Me too. Well, I mean, imagine we like to pop ollies. <laughs> we didn't pop the I trigger. I ain't popping no caps. <laughs> dude, like, come on. No. You don't like it because you know that you might just pull that trigger. <laughs> no way, dude. Come on. But we're like, this is like. How do you go from like doing this <laughs> to doing that? <laughs> I don't know. It's for, I think you could be like, you know, you could pull the trigger. So apparently I have no caps that are working. I have no white spray paint. Oh, this one might work here. I cleared, I cleared out. This, this place was a lot messier. I cleared out the whole mi middle section so we could ride the bike in here and do jumps and skate and do jumps. See the little jump ramp I have? Yeah, it was bigger. That's the the jump ramp I used. I don't know if you saw it. The for a four star thing, I like did it. Yeah, I jumped yeah. off a jump ramp and did the board slide. I didn't know if I'd be able to do it. I had to redraw the ramp like f four times or something. Really? He wanted to put like holes on it to make it lighter in case I had to like get out of there quick. You know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, at one point, where does art become like criminal? What is that one? The Lamar? You like that one? Ah, it's so rad. I got my, uh, that was my first good board. Some kid, he was my buddy, he ripped off someone's, like, lowrider bike, you know? <laughs> and, uh, he goes, he goes, you want it? And I didn't, you know, I didn't know what I, I said, I don't know, you know, he said, take it, dude, you can have it. And I said, okay. So I took it, I used to jam like to the swimming pool or go to different spots with the lowrider bike. But it was hard to turn. I mean, I could get a hold of it, you know, it was okay. Yeah, yeah. But it wasn't like the best thing. I like BMX bikes, you know? Yeah. And like, uh, 
to have a BMX bike in a bad neighborhood, you know, they get stolen all the time. Yeah. People steal them, they'll chase you down to still, you know, chase you and yeah. jump off their bike, and then tackle you, get on that and get on your bike and take off with both bikes, you know? <laughs> yeah. So uh it was hard to like hold on to a bike, you know. Yeah. So uh I mean even if you were tough, someone is always tougher or someone's gonna chase you down for it. Like they'll say like you jump too good, I'm gonna catch that motherfucker and steal his bike so he'll stop jumping. <laughs> so anyways, I had the lowrider bike and I rode that around for a little bit and it wasn't like, I don't know, I couldn't pop wheelies with it. I guess it's more about skidding or you know, the whole point of the lowrider is to go slow. Low and slow, bato. <laughs> exactly, but I, I, it wasn't really like, you know, I was amped, you know, I wanted to like, you know, punk was popular, you know, I wanted yeah. to be like aggro. So I traded the lowrider bike for a Veriflex, or no, for a, a Lamar board, and this is the board I traded for. Is, is that the original? No, board? not the original, no. but the same kind. Same so one, yeah. With lasers and uh, with gyros, and the gyros I put on the Billy Ruff, because these trucks are not big enough. These are the small lasers. I wanted to recreate the board that I had, like, you know, when it was a passion of mine. Yeah. But it's kind of difficult to it's, do it. It's hard to find the parts, especially yeah. lasers. Like, I had the small ones. They were, I mean, these were, I, I don't know, I thought these were pretty good trucks. The Bennett's were the best. You Bennett, know that. That's what I got. Bennett's, Bennett's were, the, were best. the best. I didn't get Bennett's for a long time because I we just couldn't afford them, you know? Like, I finally conned somebody out of them, like, probably traded mm -hmm. a bunch of shit for them. I always did that with skating. Like, a lot I of the traded time. some wheels and some trucks for something else, you know? What was your favorite trade? The, like, because that was, like, a good trade for me, the Lord of Dude, a, a friend, <clears throat> this guy who became a friend, Mike Johnson, <clears throat> rode up on a Beamer. He had a brand new fucking Beamer, and this is like the 80, Alpha Beamer. Or no, like, Powell Beamer. Oh, okay. The, the, With the dual, double wires? Double Beamer. Yeah. Where is that board? It's I, like a I Shelby sold, or something. I sold it, but I just—I mean, I sold it. You a had that years board? Ago. Yeah. How did forever. you get the board? You I traded. Them? No, I traded it. Like, it was brand new. Dude. It was brand new, and, the, and I was like, "What are you doing?" It's like 1982, maybe. And so how did you get it off them? I just traded him a bunch of shit, like old skate shit that I had. The like not old, but just like a bunch of stuff. Punk albums, what was? No, it? no, just just skate stuff. But, It'd um, be funny. You remember dude. that get that kid? Uh, he's not a kid. I mean, I always say kid when I mean like uh, guy or dude. You know, you remember that yeah. that that guy? Uh, what was his name? Uh, Jesse Driggs. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so this guy. Wheatberry. Wheat yeah, Wheatberry is his nickname. <clears throat> so this kid, uh, he made a, a fake wheel out of a potato, right? <laughs> So you're telling me about this Beamer thing, right? So I'm thinking like, and how expensive and how important it was. Take these two rails, paint them black and put them in the center and say, dude, I got a real beer. Do a pull of Jesse Driggs. Oh man. It could totally work. Look at the size on them. I'm not a good um, cheater. Yeah, I can't, I'm not good with that. You have a conscience. Yeah, so I guess. Did so. you see the board behind you? It's from Russia. That thing? Yeah, it's up there. Art calling. It's okay. Wow. Look at, oh, and it moves, huh? It's like on a system, right? Is that the kind, yeah, because look at the truck. No, I think these are for the, the head skid plates to stop like the roller skates. Oh, right, the, the plastic. But look at the trucks, yeah. how they're movable, right? Mm -hmm. Loosen it up and you can slide them forward. Oh, yeah, you're create right. Create a bigger wheelbase, you know, or a smaller wheelbase. You're totally right. I there was another that. company, Bennett had something like that for a while, mm -hmm. and so did somebody else. It's an interesting idea, but. Yeah, well, oh, it's like power pods. Do you remember those? Yeah. One of the wheels comes off. They gave me this board in Russia. I went to Russia, man. I never thought I would do that. Sealed bearing. So they gave me this board, and I thought, oh, man, I'll fucking kick ass on the course with it. You know, they made like a little demo course. Uh -huh. And I jump on this thing, dude. This board is harder to ride than it looks. Dude, it's like 30 pounds. Yeah, I did a kick turn. I cut my, my, my uh, <laughs> shin. fucking gnarly. Yeah, I thrashed my shin. I had a big hole in my shin. Dude, look at that thing. Wow, that thing's fucked. Yeah. You go surfing USA. Yeah, right. Bum, 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 bum. This one is uh, that guy Wes Humpton's, the original Dogtown guy. Yeah. I like when he made his, his okay. board super shiny. Okay, remember when you were riding for Alva? Yeah. And at that time, wasn't it Mondo who did all this the, hand yeah, yeah. airbrush yeah. boards? I don't know where Mondo is. Before I used to think he was just like a, an alcoholic asshole, big dude, drunk. But now that I think about it, like been. he's like my age. And I, he was probably like ripped. I know he was pulling down chicks. 
One time in Arizona, dude, I saw him with a girl in the swimming pool. I was like, wow, that's the next level. Dude, could you? He, he was fucking talented. Yeah. I, you guys would always show up and all your boards were different. Like, it would just be that one Alba graphic. You, like, yeah. I love the pink boards. Yeah. And then with all the airbrushing. Hanging around that with them was fun. I, I mean, but I was a lot younger, but a lot, I was, like, shocked by a lot of stuff they did. But it was really fun. Hanging out with Tony. Tony and Wanda. Man? Well, I would go with them, you know. We would, they surfed a lot. And Did you um, surf with them? No, yeah. that's why I said I waited on the sand. Yeah. I just let, let them surf it. I would just chill on the sand on the beach and wait for them. They had another guy that was really good. His name was Rags. But for some reason, he never went to like the bigger skate events that were being held. But uh, he was really good. He had a good style. I remember there was like, you'd come down south and you'd see like 10 kids skating around like this. And you'd say like, <laughs> okay, Cab's had a big impact in SoCal. <laughs> Whatever, you know, but yeah. uh, so, but there was other kids that saw Cap and they said, wow, this dude is like, you know, like light, he's so much beyond everybody else, you yeah. know, I mean, even like Hawk's doing technical tricks, he's not like, like, he's not going like Mach 10 thrusting off the stuff the way Cab was, yeah. but a couple of people would see it and they'd do their neck and think they're Cab, but other people would see it and then started to like set their legs up how Cab set his legs up. And one of the guys I used to notice was like uh, the guy Rags that hung out with Mondo yeah. and uh, Brendan Murdoch. And Billy Ruff had that same thing. It's like an attack mode, you know, because you're going forwards. Yeah. There wasn't much fakie. I mean, maybe uh, Elgato with the Elgario and uh, fakie thrusters. But a lot of people were like, that was their thing, like the two legs. You know what I'm talking about? Billy Ruff did it. Lester well, did Billy it. Billy had kind of a really wide like stance, and his and he had this like. Yeah, he did that one. Yeah. Shh, shh, there. Yeah, and then like shh. insert. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that, that's how he kind of... I loved like, him, though. Billy Grove Oh, amazing. he was amazing. Yeah. That's like um, watching Grant Taylor skate. It's insane. Yeah. You ever watch him fucking skate? I haven't seen him. The, the only Ooh. skating I really see is like uh, live skating, whoever I'm with at whatever park. And uh, Yeah. Billy no, Grove. Grant's like all the thrasher shit. Yeah, I've out. seen him recently on the Instagram, the Supreme Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, he just so, he's so fluid. I know for a fact he's the best all-terrain skater. That's what I think too. That stems off of what I'm saying about there's the Caballero stance. Where yeah. Like, you know, Robbie Russo and Ronnie Sandoval and a bunch of those oh, yeah. Pedro dudes. Yeah. They had that close stance. And Tex so Gibson it, too. It kind of leaning back like yeah. this. Dude, Tex. When you watch his Andretz and stuff, dude, or his, not his Andretz, his Tuckney Inverts, you know? Yeah. He's like that, and it's like, he's like in two places at one time, you know? Because he's like planting his hand and grabbing the board. But somehow, when he pulls it, you it looks like he's like actually watching it all happen from like a different area, because he like drops in a certain way. It's like so old school, you know? Yeah, he was, he was right. He came to HP once. Yeah. And just blew our minds. His ollies were sick, and the boards were like as flat as this. Fucking like it back, went that hand, right? Yeah, like, the toe was like that, dude. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Well, so Grant Taylor, when you watch him skate, he looks like one of those old pros, you know? Yeah. From that time. But when I said about uh, Gibson's Tuckney Inverts, how they, they were old school, it was old school for them. Do you know what I mean? Oh, like okay. for yeah, yeah. them, like he was that was modern, right? But he's doing that tuck the invert, and after he like pulls off off of the tuck the invert and goes in, you know, it's like old school a little bit, like kind of like doing a rollout on the lip of a thing that's rounded. Because all right, the right. skate parks in the seventies, they had sections that were all rounded all edges, rounded lips, and yeah. everybody just loved to get up in there and like roll over the edge and like push off, and they thought they were yeah. doing the shit, but dude, the thing is rounded. That's not that bad. You know, get into the the bowl and do that shit. You know what I'm talking about. Totally, but they were just mimicking surfing. The fucking guy, uh, Larry Bertelman is insane, yeah. dude. He's funny. I didn't even know if he's still alive. Wow. Larry Bertelman? Yeah. Yeah. Good. He's on YouTube. He's got his own YouTube channel. <laughs> I'm not high on Bluetooth. You always wrote nice setups. I don't know. Like, now, I don't know. We just now, got this super ultra blue hanger with these. Well, this is like BMX, dude. Alloy. Yeah. Because they had yeah. anodized, like, the caps that would go on your bikes. Yeah, because I had a... Uh, PK Ripper. Oh, those are sick. The aluminum bike with the yeah. tubing, and I had like matching blue fucking rims, you know. Mm -hmm. no. You have, so this one is this. This okay. is like my first board. What else do we get into? Well, I'm about? just, what are you going to do next? So like, next, this, this is dry. I'll show you exactly what yeah, I'm Yeah, like, I want to see your process. I love to steal those and hit people with them. Mark, <laughs> you went too far. That's too much information.